guys, this is Jen from BSL, and I'm here with my best friend! <gasps> this is my friend Aura. Okay, so today, uh, people have been asking, so if you've been following the series, first one was an introduction, then core because of my back, uh, then we did the leg day, the crazy quad day, and then there is another one, and then now people are asking more for a glute workout. So I will explain to you, and you'll see in the shoulder one, or you might have seen already in the shoulder one, that I train legs three days a week. I don't really train my upper body, I just do a lot of core, and I break it up so that I'm not overtraining my legs. So it's main, mainly quads on Tuesday, then on Friday, I do like a lot of sumo. So like more hamstring sumo deadlifts, sumo squats, stiff-legged deadlifts, uh, prone hamstring curls, a lot of hamstrings with a touch of glutes and quads. And then on Sunday, which is what we're simulating today, it is just barbell bridges and accessory work. So that's what we're gonna do today. Now, this girl started out as my friend at the gym, then became a client, and then during this pandemic, we became workout partners. And now I moved, <laughs> but she's here visiting. So today, the two of us are gonna do a glute workout, and you'll see, we're not gonna go crazy, crazy heavy today, but it'll kinda be heavy. So, let's get started. So, uh, we're gonna go with rounds of like 15 reps. I don't ever, and as I mentioned before, I don't like to give myself a cap. So when, when I talked about in the leg workout, I don't have a number in my mind. It's all gonna be based on how I feel. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna warm up with 135. Uh, I might just kinda guide you through this. Uh, I did a bridge tutorial video once before so the important thing here is the box should not be very high 12 inches is what this plyo box is you don't want a high bench you want and i personally don't like the glute machine um i actually feel that more on my knees and my back than i do on my glutes so i like doing the free bar so you want to make sure that your heels are right underneath your knees and that it's a short range of motion it's just the butt goes down and then you squeeze like you're trying to eat your pants and that's all that we're gonna focus on, is flexing the glutes. You don't have to have a huge range of motion. The, the bar can touch the ground once it starts getting heavier, but I like to not touch. Uh, we're gonna do no less than 10, 12 reps, no more than 15, and then we might do a burnout set right at the end. So we drop the weight all the way back down to what we started with, and then we do like one set of as many as we can, and then we're done. So we're gonna get to work now. Let's go. As I mentioned, I do like to not give myself a lot of rest. Um, I do sometimes do supersets on legs, but on quad day, I don't really superset. On this day, I don't really superset this. Um, we might do some superset, what I call raise the roof. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that too. Um, so we just rest for a minute, minute and a half, put the weight on and then we get started again. Can. can you not say the C word? You can call me the C word, but you can't say the C word. Okay, we are gonna do 10 on this one. I gotta find the other quarter. So I did not say this, but if you notice, I have no shoes on. I personally like doing some exercises with no shoes on and deadlift is one. When I used to deadlift, but I don't really do that anymore. And bridges, I personally feel more grounded. Um, I don't like having my heels elevated and most sneakers have a small little uh, elevation. So try it. Uh, I promise you'll feel a little bit more. 
Ten. Oh, out. Three. Four, hold it. Go higher. Okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll do two sets of 10 of this one, and then we'll give ourselves a break, strip it all the way down to the 135, and we'll get as many as we can. No less than 20. Maybe 25. I want you to picture a really nice Heine. That's yours. Okay, you can picture that. And I'll picture yours. Okay, ready? Just 10, only 10, and go. One, two, five. Oh my God, I don't want to clean up anymore. Let's go for as many as we can get. Okay, ready? What's gonna feel like now? Ready, go, one. Come on, 10 more. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hold it up. Yeah, higher, 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 higher. Okay. Okay. All right, so I call these, these are called glute raises, I think. I don't even know what the name of them are. But I call them raise the roof, okay? Because these are your feet and you're basically raising the roof. I just literally said how old I am, basically. So what the important thing is, is you could, I personally like doing them this way because it forces me to have my glutes do all the work as opposed to laying down. And I try to get, this is my quad. I try to get my quad parallel to the ground and it's a super small move. If you go any higher, it then turns into a lower back exercise. So, I like also doing it barefoot because I feel like it's easier for me to unhook it myself because uh, I unhook it and hook it. So you'll kind of see, it's almost like I'm doing the end of a leg curl and then I'm doing a leg curl to put the hook back on. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do it. Make sure that it's close enough that as soon as you lay over, your foot is right here and ready to go. You press up and push the foot out. And now that's as far as you need to go. Doesn't need to be, and notice how I'm not doing any pushing with my hands. So my glutes are 100% doing all the work. So with this one, you don't really have to go very heavy, so we're not gonna go heavy. I think the most I've ever done is 45 on each side, maybe more than that. But we're not even gonna really do that. We're just gonna stick to sets of 15, and then we're just gonna get to the accessory work. And that's it for today. I got another inch. Is it is it at the biggest spot? Yes, it is. Yeah. All right, so now we're just gonna literally end with cable stuff. Uh, cable kickbacks and cable lateral kickbacks, I guess, if you wanna call them. So you wanna really focus again on not going too high. This is all lower back, back, lower back. So you just wanna focus on squeezing and stopping right when you feel it in the glutes. Uh, with this one, I kinda like to play around with, uh, see how I feel. Um, I don't really give myself a, a cap on how much weight, uh, but we always stick to 15. So what I'm gonna, what we're gonna do now is we just finished doing four sets each. Um, we just finished doing four sets each. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do them kick out to the side. So we can actually do these at the same time. So I will uh, go here and then you go there and face the other way. Okay. 
So we just finished doing four sets each, 15. We didn't really go crazy heavy. Again, my back, I can feel it a little bit. So I just have to focus a little bit more. It's not really about the weight, uh, just about that mind-muscle connection. So uh, we killed it. Another little fun fact for you. If you put your hand actually on the muscle, it creates warmth and with touch, the muscle fires more. Okay, so come here. Come here, we're gonna say bye. Okay, so I hope you guys, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I hope you kill your next glute workout. And uh, let's just hit them with a little booty flex. Maybe a little bit. Okay. Yes, you, yes, you can. You can do it, you can do it, do it, do a little one. Okay, all right, deuces!